Spread across the vast Pacific Ocean are many beautiful islands that are home to people whose cultures are as rich as they are diverse. Among them are territories and sovereign nations from the sub-regions of Melanesia, Micronesia and Polynesia. 27 public audit officers are members of the Pacific Association of Supreme Audit Institutions, or as we call ourselves, PASI. 20 of those members are beneficiaries of our capability development programs. The PASI Secretariat is headquartered in the land of the long white cloud, Aotearoa, New Zealand, which is closely connected to many Pacific peoples. Unfortunately, some of our member size face significant challenges that include suboptimal infrastructure, government interference, a poorly resourced media environment, and high staff turnover. We have completed SAI PMF assessments of those 20 audit officers that participate in our programs. These assessments have identified areas for improvement and inform how we provide capability development and other interventions for size. We have published a report that summarizes these assessments and includes an integrated analysis of the size regional performance. We have delivered customized SAI independence workshops to 20 audit officers using insights from their PMF assessments. We support them to develop their own independence strategies and celebrate when officers make strides along their independence journeys. For example, after tireless advocacy and coordinated action, in 2021, Tonga's constitution was amended to recognize the independence of the Auditor General providing protection from outside influence. In the same year, the Ponape Code was amended to enhance the administrative and political independence of that state's audit office and to protect its staff from liability. We mix online and face-to-face -face learning in a hybrid training approach. Participants benefit from e-learning content and can access workshop recordings and resources when it's most suitable to them. Our courses have achieved an overall satisfaction rating of more than 90%. Our communication products include an annual report, publicly available quarterly reports, frequent blog posts, media releases and newsletters. We are very active on social media and often increase the visibility of our member size work. We have developed a comprehensive set of performance indicators to demonstrate the progress we are making towards achieving our strategic priorities. As we come towards the end of our current strategic plan in the middle of 2024, we strive to meet the ambitious targets set for ourselves and our member size.